Good morning, world. Good morning. I'm not wearing a hat. It means we're not doing a reaction. We're not doing a reaction. <laughs> I just cut it today, so I thought I'd show you folks. All right, what we're going to do today is we've had, I had a few people that were a little upset with me that I equated furries with mental illness. So we're going to address that today. Just that simple, huh? That simple. All right. Today we're talking about furries. Stay tuned. I'm Cedric. And I'm Brian. And this is Cedric and Brian. All right, guys. Before we get into today's episode, we've got to hawk our wares. Yes. So please, please, you can get, oh crap, man, I did that. I, go ahead and talk, Cedric. Okay, I'm gonna talk about, Brent. like Brian's saying though, that we have hats, we have these mugs here, and along with the Cash App, Brian took the initiative, and we also have a Venmo app, because I know a lot of you are saying, I don't do Cash App. If you guys had a Venmo, I would gladly donate a couple thousand dollars. So now there's the Venmo app for Did you to that? donate. Your, that's what I read. A couple thousand. Bucks. That's what I read. All right. Man. Yes. But like Brian was holding up that hat over there. Um, those hats are really nice. They're really durable. I think they are the. They're not the fitted hats. They're more the, the flex. Yeah, the uh, flex bat, fit. So flex fit. They, yeah. So they come in different sizes. If you go on, uh, this right here is a QR code to our website, and on that website actually has the correct link to our hats i think the one in the description i still have to fix sorry about that but um yes you can you can either donate directly on cash app or venmo i'll have those links in there or you can rewind and go back to the qr codes um, or get some of our stuff now today's topic i think i know where you're going with this because I, we did a reaction video for those of you who don't know we've been doing a lot of reactions lately that's not what we built our channel on but that's what we started doing and we did a song by ren called illest of all time yeah illest and, and of our time illest right? of our time and if you guys are familiar with how brian and i we react and how we banter and things like that we do a lot of joking and we we say things and like brian said in the intro some of those things may insult people do we mean to do that absolutely not but sometimes we say things that are that will be offensive to people and brian found a comment where and oh, I, I man comments and I, I had forgot that we even said it. I don't I didn't know this was such a thing and, and rub people the wrong way. Yeah. I, I mean I completely forgot about it. So there's a couple so I'm, the first one's gonna be a long one. So put you know, you gotta put up with this, uh hit the uh times five or you know, speed up the video if you oh, need to. Right. What are you looking for? I was gonna take my phone out and just time us here. Uh, don't worry about timing us. Okay. <laughs> so this one was, again, like Cedric said, from Illest of Our Time. And this person, Stars Talker, zero, um, she says she's been watching for a while. So I'm just going to read it here, and then we're going to – we'll answer it as it comes on. Because she didn't just mention me. She mentioned Cedric. So, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm sorry. I just said she. I don't know if it's a she. I was going to comment on that by yeah, saying I'll let you. I'm assuming. I'll let you hang yourself with that one. All right, stars talker. Here's what she. Here's what that person says. I love your reactions. Thank you. Good start. But sometimes you'll make a comment where I'm like, hmm. In this video, it was calling furries mentally ill, because I'm always like, I don't have to understand something to stay in my lane about it. But, oh, you're writing something down? Yeah. What the hell have furries ever done to me or you? You know? They're just trying to live their lives and attacking them when they aren't hurting anyone just feels cruel. I'd never be cruel to animals. No, you have, you love animals. <laughs> Another one that it me, okay, so let's, let's, let's address that. No, for one, adults, if they're not a drain on society and maybe somebody's taking care of them and they want to pretend they're kitty cats or little doggies or bunny rabbits, that's fine. I don't care what people do in their own homes. What we're talking about in the context of what we were talking about is kids that are doing it. And it's because I heard a story from my niece, great, great niece, my niece's daughter, 
who is in high school. And she was telling me a story about there's these kids at school who come to school dressed as animals. They eat on the floor during lunch, so they put their food on the floor. They purr when they're walking around. And this is high school? This is high school. So maybe they're not mentally ill. I don't know. It goes back to that whole um, social contagion. One does it, so now the rest do it. That's not normal behavior. So... You're right. I I can't really blame the kids because especially teenagers at that age, if they're you know, if they're freshmen, whatever they are, that's a tough age to go through. I blame the parents number one and the students and administrators number two, because they're supposed to set examples and let people know what is quote right and wrong or what's going to be accepted in society. Parents, if I would have done this, Cedric, if you would have told your parents in high school, I mean, we're not talking about five-year-olds in kindergarten. And even then, you've got to guide them, right? Yeah. Kind of like that uh, Adam Sandler movie where I think it was, was it not big, what was it called? Father. Anyway, it's the one where he, remember, he got the kid. And oh, he let him yes. go to school as Frankenstein, right. dressed up and all that. Mm-hmm. But in that movie, by the end, he had taught the kid that it's probably not best to go to school dressed in whatever he wants. Parents have to send, set boundaries. Yeah. If I would have tried to go to school, especially in high school, if I tried to do it in high school, I'm sure my parents would have got me a psychiatrist, right? Or a psychologist. Well, your, your classmates would have teased you unmercifully. Yeah. And well, but you see now, administrators and teachers won't let that happen, so there's no correction going on in society. Well, we have, and especially in American culture, we have a day set aside for that, October 31st, yeah. where you go to school and for Halloween and you play dress up. And I'm going to... You still don't eat off the ground. You don't eat off the ground. I'm going to grab the third <laughs> rail here. I mean, trying to identify as an animal and taking on those characteristics of an animal, eating off the ground, purring, self-cleaning yourself by licking your hands or your paws. First of all, that's unsanitary. Don't do that. It's almost, it's very similar to the transgender movement that we're talking about. I'm not going to get too deep into yeah, that. Touching that right. I'll leave it alone. But something that he, this person touched on, he said, I don't have to understand something to stay in my lane about it. That's a cop out. It is and, a cop and I've out. talked to Brian about that numerous times when Brian's made the comment, well, Cedric, and, and again, this is me and Brian when we joke and banter. Brian will say, well, Cedric, I can't talk about that. I'm white. Huh. He's joking when he says it. But I understand where he's coming from. Things like that are, are saying like, well, you can't talk about racism, Brian, because you have white privilege. You don't know anything about it. Cedric, Brian, you guys can't talk about abortion. That is a woman's issue. When comments like that are being made, it's, it's designed to keep people from talking about it. I can talk about abortion because it's not a male or a female issue. It's a murder issue. In my opinion, this is just me talking. It's not Brian. People, oh, kids see. dressing up like animals... That's an issue that everyone should be talking about. Yes. And, and again, if you're upset that I use the term mental illness, I, I just don't know what to call it. And, again, if they're five-year-olds, you guide them. They, you know, they want to dress up as an astronaut, all that stuff at five years old. By the time you hit high school, which is where my niece's daughter, my great-niece, great my grandniece, I don't know what I'm saying, that shouldn't be happening. And, and again, you can't bully so kids aren't going to autocorrect it. The teachers aren't going to correct it. Who's going to correct it? And when I say bully, sometimes if it's not physically bullying, sometimes people call things bullying when if somebody comes to school and, I don't know, let, let's say you got a booger hanging out of your nose. You would want somebody to tell you if a booger is hanging out of your nose because you don't want to go around with that. I would want somebody, if I went to school dressed as an animal, eating off the floor, I'd want somebody to say something like, dude, that's not right. You shouldn't be doing that. Anyways, I digress. So another one, she, 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 she or he continued. Another one that immediately comes to mind was that once, I believe it was on high rend, a high rend reaction, Cedric made a joke about his girlfriend being a woman, or at least that's what she told me. That's bothered me for a hot minute now. I've watched your stuff on and off for... About a year, I think. You gonna address that? Well, yeah, and that's <laughs> we were another, joking for that's again. That's another Cedric and Brian joke. We're bantering because we were that kind of ties into the whole transgender thing I was talking about. Yeah, I and know. what's the comment I said? My my girlfriend told me she's yeah, a woman, or my girl my girlfriend's a woman. At least that's what she at told least me. that's what she told me. Yeah, it's, that it's, that, it's that it's for one, it's a joke, but two, 
Cedric's attracted to women, not trans women. So it's not transphobic to not be attracted to a guy who dresses like a woman. And that's what I was saying earlier about yeah. the, the trying to put a stop on anything. Well, you can't say that because you're not black, Brian. Well, we can't talk about abortion because we're not women. Oh, don't talk about transphobia because you like biological women. Yeah, I know. All right. So here's where she gets personal with me. The fact that Brian watches The Daily Wire suddenly makes comments like that make sense. You didn't um, tell me you watched The Daily Wire? <laughs> among other things, I'm genuinely very sad because I've now had to unsubscribe, and I'll have to think about whether or not I can support this channel in good conscience. We need content that's going to make everyone happy. I love your reactions. I really do. But Ben Shapiro and his cast of clowns spread hatred like the most insidious of poisons. Okay. I'm not here... If, those of you who've been watching this channel for a long time, I go after Ben. When it came to the whole COVID thing, Ben was the one pushing the vaccine, and I pushed back. And guess what? Ben's kind of come around now that the science has caught up. Mm -hmm. um, they're not a bunch of clowns. All they do is they they state facts. They're not saying that they're trans. I mean, they're not transphobic. Transphobia would mean you're afraid of people that dress up as the opposite sex. They're not. What they're saying is they don't want children before they can even make, I mean, who dress up like, obviously like animals still. So they still, something's not caught up yet. So some of these people on that same age group think they're the opposite sex and want either breast, perfectly healthy breasts taken off, or they want to be sterilized in some form. They're saying, no, that's not right. When they're 18, let them do what they want. That's all that Ben Shapiro and his cast of clowns are trying to say. And you guys don't listen to that, and you just think they're a bunch of ists and obes and phobias and all this stuff. So. Yeah, because truth is not subjective. It, it is very objective. And like Ben and Matt Walsh and Michael Knowles and Jeremy Boring, all they're saying is 2 plus 2 is 4. Yeah. And there's so many people out there who want to argue that, no, 2 plus 2 can be 4.5 or it can be 5 sometimes. No, it can. When men are men, women are women. I know that statement offends a lot of people, yeah. but that's the reality. You can argue it all you want to. Yeah, and all this non-binary and you can choose your sex, you can't. And so that's, I'm sorry, star talker, that's where we come from because how can animals be different than every other mammal out there? You have male and female. Humans are no different. You have male and female. We're not talking about the .0001% of people that may be born with you know, both genitalia. That's not the norm, so that we put in a category. Everybody else out there, you're either a biological male or a biological female. You can dress however you want. We don't care as long as you're an adult. And then when you're an adult and you decide to cut off your breasts and you do all that stuff, you do you. You know, we've had, we've talked about Blair White. You know, she's on Tom McDonald videos. You know, he, he was a he. He does him who is now identifies as a, a her. That's fine. The Shapiro and those guys from the Daily Wire are just saying they don't want you to do that to children. You won't let children do other things. They can't drink. They can't smoke. They can't do a bunch of stuff. Why should you let them And it's harm just so themselves? weird how people, and you touched on this a little bit, Brian, how being a male and being a female applies to every other living creature walking this land, but it doesn't apply to homo sapiens. It doesn't apply yeah, to, to men and women. Yeah. If you think that's true, go get a rooster, see how many eggs you get, <laughs> and go out there and milk your bull. Well, you know, we can go on forever. Okay, so... I'm going to go back to star, star talker. Stars. God, I keep getting it wrong. I'm sorry. Yeah, stars talker. All right. So I hope I can come back. But more than that, regardless of if I do, I hope you get out of that one day. Nobody should feel ashamed to cry, for example. And I think festering in that kind of environment has a tendency to make people turn that negativity outward onto other people. If I've learned anything about y'all, I don't think you want to treat other people poorly i very sincerely wish you the best of luck of course we don't want to treat no. people poorly but we don't but we again two and two is four we don't want to lie to ourselves and we don't want to lie to you you know again we could care less like when when they had those drag shows rupaul and all that we had no problem with that it's when they started doing it with children is when we drew a line mm -hmm. again go to Go to any club you want and, and watch men dress up like women or women dress up like men. Who cares? I don't care. 
But again, we have to draw the line at the kids, and we don't want them doing surgery or drugs on kids. That's all. Yeah. And and I know we're getting off subject, but she brought it up. He brought it, whoever this is, brought it up. And so we kind of crossed over yeah. the transgender. But again, we're going. We're talking about kids that are dressing up and and thinking they are animals. Yeah. And this re- really resonated with me this past weekend. Uh, welcome back from Tennessee, by the way. Tennessee um, time. Uh, Tennessee for a little bit. And um, this past weekend, I, I had the pleasure. A, I didn't see a single furry in Tennessee. <laughs> and you won't either. You, uh, we, had, I had the pleasure and the honor of attending my my son and his wife's uh, baby shower for my soon to be born grandson in july and or, or whatever he decides to be no he's gonna <laughs> and, and and that's a subject of brian joke <laughs> yes if we just made another joke. Another joke but levi is going to be a boy he's going he's going to come out he, he's going to have a penis um his my daughter-in-law his his mom she's a she does the, the sonic thing like that with the sonar sonogram she, yeah she can see the, the penis boy is hung oh, <laughs> anyway right. different can story we'll again. well i'm not done yet right, okay go ahead. i'm not done yet <laughs> but people always say well, Cedric and Brian, what does it matter to you? Why do you care? I have a grandson coming into this world in July, and I want and I care enough about him. And maybe, maybe if you think about it, Brian and I do care about you, and we care about your children, which is why we put the truth out there. I don't want to lie to my grandson and say, yeah, you know, men can be women and and women can be men. That is not true. I want him to grow up in a world that is truth, and it's my responsibility to impart that upon him. Yeah. All right. So this is the end of her uh, her um, little comment here. I keep saying her. I, I'm sorry, Star this Talker, person. if you're not. And as a P.S., since it will bother me if I don't say it, if you happen to be one of the people who believe that there are cat litter boxes in schools, I feel the need to inform you that this is incorrect. It's trans panic fear mongering and the single video that the right likes to show in which a teacher says that she was given litter boxes for her students as a staff meeting is dishonestly cut. It's a real video, and she was given buckets of cat litter for her students, but it was as a precaution in case of another school shooting. This was in a district where Columbine happened, and as many would-be shooters idolized Eric and Dylan as the first mass shooter, they were and are concerned about another shooting being done. She was upset and saying this is wrong, not because kids are going to the bathroom in litter boxes, but because people in schools live in terror and an entirely preventable tragedy. Okay. i never seen that. We never mentioned this, so I guess she just wanted, she or he got, wanted to get it off their chest. I, I honestly don't know what litter boxes have to do with shootings. I really don't. And I don't care if, I mean, if that was wrong, good for pointing it out. But those sand in their eyes, they can't see what they're shooting. But, yeah, but we have, I guess. But we have no idea where that story came from. Again, I heard this from my niece. It was brought up for a reason. Yeah, I, I, they, again, they're probably. We've never she, seen it. They probably wanted to come up to the whole shooting thing and guns. We're not even going to address that right now. But um, I would say if a teacher is bringing a litter box into the classroom and encouraging furries to use it as opposed to using the the assigned restrooms for the genders whatever let's and then I know. I, I, all right so let's get through the rest of these real quick this one john fowler 6385 oh, there's thanks more? for watching john just quick ones here okay the he was he was saying that the masks in ren's videos are a reference to hallucinations he had to had whilst undergoing treatment and off his off his tits on meds and psychosis, usually animal farm type animals. Sick Boy also used this in the video with the psychiatrist. I don't think this has anything to do with furries. We made that comment because we were just making a joke, and he put a smiley face. He knew we were joking. But then this person, Scott3013, he put furries equals mental illness, yikes. So I wrote back, yikes, question mark? And he said, if I understood you correctly, big yikes. If you meant that a furry must have mental illness, omega super nuclear yikes. So I wrote back, I don't think that kids in high school, or you don't think that kids in high school purring and eating off the ground is abnormal? And he says, of course it's abnormal. Is it mental illness? Probably not. Kids are wild. Also, it has been proven again and again that the reports of such happenings are often misleading and overblown. This is just more manufactured outrage to keep us paying attention to the wrong things so people robbing us can keep on robbing us. Now, maybe, 
maybe they put it out there because again they want to distract us but again we didn't hear this and, and let me just go real quick cedric because mm -hmm. this person said there are no furries that is just fox news reporting imaginary shit the animal masks represent psychic entities okay there are no again furries. i didn't get this from fox news i don't Honestly, I don't watch Fox News. Not anymore. Sometimes I watch Greg Gutfeld's thing at mm -hmm. night, but I I honestly don't watch Fox News. I only watch to get stories for this show sometimes, and I'll watch MSNBC. I know. I'll put myself through that. CNN, because it's very funny, especially with Don Lemon, who's no longer there. That's going to be disappointing. Even The View will watch, and then we'll watch Fox News. But I don't get my news from Fox News. This is stuff that really is happening. So Patrick Quinlan, 3056... Yes, they are. There are furries, what they call furries, in the United States. I don't know if you're from here. So I responded to that. And um, like I said, I drew down some words today. The furries identify as anthropomorphic. That's the term that's used for furries. And then they take on their fursana, yeah. which is fursana. Yeah. yeah. It's, if you didn't like watch, persona. again, if you didn't watch What is a Woman by Matt Walsh, you know, those band of clowns. Um, he has in one point where there's a person that he's interviewing that is kind of dressed like an animal. <laughs> yes. So, anyway, right. we just wanted to touch on that because I, it, sometimes when we get more than one comment on something, which we did on this, with which was just an off the cuff remark that I made, kind of as a joke. Yeah. Like it's a throwaway statement. Yeah, throwaway statement because Ren has masks and is there? Oh, are those furries? That was it. I don't get that from Fox News. I, I brought this up because my, again, this was in Arizona, which is a very purple state. It's not even California. She has classmates in high school that go to school dressed as animals. And the teachers, the administrators, and the parents, none of them will say anything. And again, are they harming anybody? No, they're harming themselves. And so before the age 18, as adults, we're supposed to guide them in the right direction because how are they going to really function in society? Yes. Yeah. You know, I mean, they may be able to if we have this, we take care of everybody's society where you just pay people to do what they want, but then you're not going to have a productive society. Right. That's all. And along with putting out these videos, I think the next best thing that I like are reading the comments that you guys leave. So what do you guys think about this topic? Um, again, like Brian said, it was supposed to be a throwaway statement, but it morphed into several comments that we decided to tackle. And I think we're going to do this in the future. It's like just maybe just tackle more comments. Yeah, we've done it. We did and, uh, it with the Joiner Lucas. Any of you who watch the Joiner Lucas, you can see that most of the comments are negative, especially towards Cedric. So everybody assumes that people don't like it. We still have three to one positive uh, thumbs up on yeah. that video. Yeah. You know, people that like it, they just put a thumbs up. They don't have to comment on it. So, again, we have like 75% thumbs up, 25% thumbs down. So, overall, people still, they knew where we were coming from with that. And, um, you know, we did a whole video when talking about those comments, yeah. too. Well, that's what's great about this YouTube platform. Leave your comments. What do you guys think about this, this whole furry thing? Or if you have another name for it that you want to call it, let us know what that is. But more importantly, make sure you like subscribe ring that bell and share our channel with everyone and every animal <laughs> another joke stop making jokes stop because you, you look like a wolf man yeah. <laughs> with everyone you know until next time i'm cedric and i'm brian we'll see you later we're gonna get banned wait wait keep it rolling keep going hello <laughs> oh my goodness oh my goodness all right, so mm -hmm. speaking of furries. Mm -hmm. You can close that door? That's okay. Oh, okay. There's one furry. <laughs> come so this here, is come really. Here. What? Oh. Oh. They he, can't hear you. Can you hear the mic? She thinks he's a cat. Oh, jeez. Come here. Come here. How come animals they, are smarter than humans? Cedric and Brian mascots. They don't pretend to be something else. Hello, how are you? So these are our true furries. <laughs> But they are both canines. They really are. They're not cats. Sometimes they do think they're humans, though. But uh, we straighten them out. Yeah. <laughs> oh. And they have fur. We just thought we'd do that as a P.S. <laughs> wow. Thanks, guys. Bye. In case you didn't know what a furry really is. <laughs>